As we get ready onto the track here, our sprinters giving away to our distance girls. We're going to have three heats here in the girls' 1,600 meters. Heat winner automatically moves on. And then our next six fastest times. treat here Miss Samantha McDonald our top seed the senior from Newberry Park she has gone under 440 yes under 440 converted down to the 1600 meters put on a real show there at Arcadia last month and he is right to the lead she'll be heading off to the University of Alabama and number eight all time in California state history here for this event Meanwhile, right on her shoulder there, that's Caitlin Carmichael, fine 10th grader from University High School. Alish Hawkins, Newberry Park, one of those Panthers. You're going to see a lot of them here over these next couple of heats. They are currently third. Keep in mind, Newberry Park, if you remember, they were our Division I Southern Section Cross Country Champions this last fall. And you're going to see just why here in the next 10 minutes at 15 minutes. So they're running one, two, three. McDonald, Carmichael. Hawkins, and that's Gaffney of Great Oak running in fourth, and Brucken of King in fifth. So right there at 72. So looking very, looking very comfortable there. Again, McDonald, one of the most improved runners we've seen here in the southern section over the last two to three seasons. Right now, Hawkins, Carmichael, Hawkins, and Gaffney. Gaffney, she's gone 501 for Great Oak. She was your Southwestern League runner-up. Hawkins, she has gone under 454 for the 1600 meters. And Carmichael, she's coming off a 505 effort at the Pacific Coast League Finals. So those four trying to gap and break away from the field. Again, heat winner, only the one automatically qualifying so second and third place they need to stay close to those winners to move on so samantha mcdonald she was your southern section division one cross country champion last november and making it look easy right now. This is come, coming across there at 74. So she goes out at 72, comes back in 74. Now Gaffney moving into thirds so of that battle for second place, heating up between Alish Hawkins of Newberry, Gaffney right on her shoulder. So McDonald, she plans on tripling today, and if she achieves that goal, she would be the first ever in Division I history to qualify in all three distance races. But Schoen putting her talent to work here. Meanwhile, Dudley of Foothill trying to move into that picture up front, coming across at 341. Gaffney coming across at 345. Carmichael and Hawkins battling for that third spot, and that's Dudley, the senior out of Foothill High School, trying to get into that top four. But Hawkins, excuse me, check that. McDonough continuing to just kind of cruise the it. You'll see her again later on throughout the afternoon. But Gaffney trying to close that gap. Hawkins trying to maintain contact with Gaffney. This is Heat 1, the girls 16, 100 meters. Kelly. 
So as McDonough will have that automatic berth, now we need to watch that clock for those second and third spots. McDonough, though, making it look easy at 454, and Gaffney coming up big here, 459. That'll be a new seasonal best for the junior out of Great Oak. Gaffney, 458, 43, two seconds off her seasonal best. Hawkins, actually, that's a lifetime best. Hawkins, 502, 66. Carmichael, 506, 70. Dudley, 507, 98. So it's five altogether under 510. And that, again, is just one of three heats here of the prelims. Welcome to Division One, where 502 is usually the average that it takes to advance onward. Great field here. Callanan Aisling Jr. at a peninsula. She has gone 454. Huge cross country season where she made it all the way to the East Bay Nationals. Morgan Nigren, the senior at Newberry Park, she's gone 456. Miss Isabella DeWarty of Saugus. She was a finalist a year ago. Danielle Brodke, she was an at-large berth, a wild card berth, check that, she's gone 505, the 10th grader at Newberry Park. So Newberry Park, two in the first heat, two here in the second heat. Miss Erica Kirk, ninth grader at Vista Marietta, she's gone 511. Hannah Butterfield, your Citrus Belt League champion, only a ninth grader from Beaumont. Karis Brown of Chino Hills, Gossett of Claremont, Durbin of Huntington Beach, Lopez of Santa Ana, Bryson representing Long Beach Poly, and Huerta of Warren. This is your field here, Heat 2. And that's Kalanan of Peninsula, but right on her shoulder, that is Nigren of... And cruising through just around 74 seconds there, Kalanan, one of the more improved girls we've seen here in the southern section over this past year. She was in Division 2 a year ago, as was Peninsula as a school, and now moving up to Division 1 here. So Callanan and it looks like Nigren have broken away from the group 600 meters in. They're coming through at 148. Heat winner automatically advances in the six next six fastest times. So it is crucial you stay as close as you can to that heat winner in regards to advancing on to next week. Nigren, she's gone 456. Callanan, she has gone 454. And they come through there at 228. 232 there for Brodkey of Newbury Park and Dewarty of Saugus. Meanwhile, Kirk of Vista Murrieta in fifth. Lopez of Santa Ana in the all red leading that chase group. Callanan and Nigren trying to leave no doubt here on qualifying next week. Only nine spots available. And of course, next week going to be at Moore Park High School. 
And that's where all four divisions will come along. All the other three divisions also contesting right now. And as we come in with 500 meters to go, they're at 322. Nigran, Callanan, Brodke, Duarte, and Kirk. 3.42. And Duarte and Brodke coming across at 3.51. meters to go they're at 417 and Duarte moving into third place she with 200 meters ago 428 But Aisling Callanan Jr. from Peninsula, Morgan Nigren, the senior out of Newberry Park. And coming across, 454, 455. Isabel Duarte, the senior out of Saugus, closing well. And she'll be right there at 505. Daniel Brodke coming across at 5-12-07, just ahead of the freshman from Vista Murrieta, Erica Kirk at 5-12-42. So we have three girls under 5-06 in Heat 1, three under 5-06 again here in Heat 2, and now to our final section of this girls' 1,600 meters. We're in hip number one. She is in the gold over the green there of Maricosta, one of America's finest ever. She currently holds the California state record for the mile, which converts out to a 433 for this distance. She'll be heading off to the University of Duke in the fall, Miss Dahlia Frias. In two, she is a Southwestern League champ. She's a senior from Vista Murrieta. She's gone 502, Isabella Smith. And we'll let the gun take over here and roll call as we move along. Denise Chen, she was a finalist a year ago. She's gone 501 Palomaris League, Chick, uh, Palomaris League champion from Claremont, Denise Chen. Caitlin McQuillan, Sunset Surf champion, 10th grader from Los Alamitos, also in there. Allison Abandonado, the senior out of Santiago. She was your Big 8 League champ. She's gone 506. Danica Brinkman of Tribuco Hills. Janelle Aviles of Etawanda, Godina of Rio Mesa, Becker of Ucaipa, Martinez of Fountain Valley, Anderson of Riverside Poly, DePaz, Betasail of Fontana, and Arnold of Sure. That rounds out this field here, this final section of the girls, 1,600 meters. Frias, again, one of California's absolute best. And she went 209 on this same track a month ago after Tremuco Hills invite and cut cruising through at 71, but taking that whole field against her. Heat three with a slight advantage here because they were able to watch the second and third place times of those previous sections. So they know a little more of what it's going to take to move on to finals next week. 
So Frias of Miracosta, that's Abadonado of Santiago, Chen of Claremont, Smith of Vista Marietta. Those are your top four. We have three girls, four girls, check that, four that have gone under 502 so far. So if you're keeping score at home here, some kind of a measurement stick of sorts, if you want to see who the final nine are going to be in qualifying onward to next week. And this is Dahlia Frias. She has been an absolute dynamo here this senior year. 226 and making it look comfortable. And that whole group coming in there at 229 to 231. Again, to provide you context here, Freya, she has gone equivalent to 433 for this distance. And right now, currently right around 450 pace. And now that battle for second place heating up between Denise Chen, the sophomore from Claremont. She qualified for the final as a ninth grader a year ago. And Miss Isabella Smith of Vista Marietta having a breakout campaign here ever since cross country season. They're running 2-3 right now. And Frias, Chen, Avilis, and Brinkman. Avilis of Etiwanda, Brinkman of Tribuco Hills. They're coming across at 350. So right now between Frias, Smith, and Chen, they are under five minute pace here with three minutes, 300 meters to go. Meanwhile, that battle there with Abilis and Brinkman of Tribuco, that could be right there on that line of demarcation of trying to make it on to next week. So they come across with 200 to go, 432. Dahlia Frias, she'll come back, and you'll see her in the 3,200 meters. Isabella Smith, though, the senior from Vista Marietta, closing well. Denise Chen, they'll be well under five minutes. Freya's coming across at 455. Smith, the 456 and chains, and Chen, 458. All three will make it. Avilus and Brinkman coming across there at 510. Officially, and it does look like the 5043 was our last qualifying time to move on to next week's Division One finals. 